For many years, UFOs have been blurred, indistinguishable lights in the sky. Until now. There are alien creatures visiting this planet who were captured by the militaries. They are hiding. They, they do have captured aliens in Brazil alive. We can prove that alien beings had really visited our planet. In the early months of 1996, Brazil, it is claimed, was the unwitting victim of an alien invasion. And one small town, Virginia, was at the center of it. A minor industrial town of 100,000 inhabitants, none of them realizing that they were soon to be driven into a panic by the extraordinary events that would engulf them. About 2 a.m. in the morning of the January 20th, some satellites from the United States detected an object entering Earth's atmosphere. American NORAD alerted the Brazilian authorities because we don't have this kind of defense satellite system. As soon as it became clear that whatever it was that the radar was picking up had entered Brazilian airspace, the Air Force was scrambled. As soon as they got uh, above Brazil in our atmosphere, our defense system captured the images. We call those little points in the radar, we call them plots. So one of the plots started to lose altitude and it was going lower, lower, down and down and disappeared. While this object was falling down, it was observed by a few witnesses. It was very strange because some of them could describe an object like a cigar-shaped format it was around one o'clock in the morning and we saw an object flying over with a lot of smoke coming from it. So I called my husband over and we both looked at it. I started to ask, what was this? It was some kind of submarine flying over. It was long and on its rear it seemed like there were bits flying behind it, like when you tie ribbons to a fan. It was the size of a minibus with lots of smoke. I have never seen anything like it in my life. Two conclusions, something landed or something crashed. So they got the coordinates, latitude and longitude, and looked for the, the, the nearest military facility, and it was the army school here. Which happens to be only 20 miles away from Virginia. The army school was alerted by the Air Force that an unidentified craft had crashed. So the army school knew everything that was going on. But the public themselves were now beginning to report strange lights in the sky. And some talked of having seen a crash, but not a plane crash. Something more consistent with this, an out of control missile. These public reports had now put the fire brigade on red alert. They went to where the reports of the crash had come from. But they had a surprise waiting for them. When they arrived there, the army was red there. The fire brigade linked up with the army in a joint operation. No crashed craft was found in this operation, but what they did find, according to reports, was even more amazing. The creatures probably abandoned the place in order not to be captured, probably waiting for rescue, but the rescue never came. The creature offered no hesitance, no resistance at all to its capture. It almost couldn't move. It was so fragile. 
they wrapped this creature in a net. And put inside this uh, one by one uh, square meters wood box and gave it straight to the militaries who went there to pick it up. The mysterious cargo was taken back to the army school. Now, this was during the morning, all right? Uh, the capture took place about 10, 10.30 or so. At that same afternoon, not knowing anything about this, these three girls were working in a house. They were cleaning the house. And when they finished their work, they were returning home. It was around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we were coming home from work. We took a shortcut through Jardin Andere on our way to Santana, where we live. We saw this very strange creature, but it didn't notice us at all at first. It was brown, and its skin looked very soft. The sun was shining on it, and it looked like the outside of a heart. The eyes were big, round and red, and there were three horns on its head, and visible veins on its arms. And all of a sudden, it just moved its neck like this and faced the girls. They were very frightened. They thought they were being faced with the devil himself. They ran away, arriving at home, hysterical with fright. So they just ran away, got home, and told Mama. Mommy, we just saw the devil. And the mother said, the mother is a very brave woman. She said, no devil is going to play with my kids. And she managed to get to the location. She saw two foot uh, prints. And it was big ones, like this. And she felt a terrible smell of ammonia. The original creature captured by the army was also now in Virginia, being transferred from the army school to the local hospital. They didn't know what to do with that creature at that time, so they took it to regional hospital. I ask you, uh, our authorities, wouldn't they be smart enough to realize that it would attract so much attention from everybody? Because they took a creature from, not from this planet to a hospital, which is the main hospital in the whole region. Everybody will see it, as a few doctors saw, as a few nurses saw, a few patients saw. They have to isolate a whole branch of the hospital to put the creature in. According to witness testimonies, doctors were unable to do anything for the creature, and so it had to be moved again. But when they realized that the creature couldn't stay there, they had to move the creature in a military operation. So everybody's on the street. It's a Saturday night. Plenty of heat. You know, because of the summer, lots of people saw the military operation conducting the creature from this hospital to another hospital, which is more discreet because that one is a public hospital. Unfortunately, the trail of the captured being goes cold at the Humanitas Hospital. People started to talk about this, and everybody wanted to know, demanding answers. The fire brigade denied everything, military police denied everything, and the army school here didn't say a thing.